Hi folks, it's been a while. Um, you did a little shop tour. Part 12, I think. My shop has migrated in the last four years pretty good. Primarily I've got 12 by 16 lofted barn. I've got some lofted space in the top. Um, I've been adding tools for a long time and every nook, cranny, and hole has been used as well as possible. I'll go through about once a year and throw stuff away that I hoard and collect that I don't need. And I just acquired a large lot of tools that caused me to rebuild this whole back wall um, and move things around. And uh, we'll take a little tour. See what we got. One of the newest additions I've had is this stove. And in the corner are the yard tools and a lot of my blacksmithing tools, my fro, my tongs, shovels. This wall has been in different conditions a lot of times. In the cupboard are drill bits, sharpening gear. It has wheels and it rolls around and I can roll my mini bench around on it. I can apply the mox and vice. Um, I really have only three main power tools that I use. The chop saw, the little band saw, and the 10 inch. And, well, actually four, because I'm pretty pretty good with that drill press, and it's a small drill press. They're all portable. I can pick them up and move them as needed, so they get placed wherever I need to put them down. And this wall is just off the edge of my bench. My sawtill, uh, all my gouges, screwdrivers, bag of coal, what's left of it mostly French cleats in there so I can move stuff around as needed. Um, earmuffs, eye protection, pencil sharpener. Now here's my bench and my intentions are to replace this bench eventually with something better. The frame is metal, it's all angle iron, it's pretty heavy. It is strapped to the wall so it doesn't shake when I plane. Under the bottom at the foot space are those little plastic bins that contain screws, parts, pieces, hinges, drill bits, just a hodgepodge of storage that's great. They are stackable and I do like them. Um, I've got a couple of tills of chisels in there. The top holds the planes are in different states and conditions of use. I may or may not use them. They may need parts. Um, there are my molding planes, my sticking rabbit planes. I have Stanley 95, the Krenov I made, all my block planes, and my little ones. And then in my till, I've got my two joiners, my three fours, two rabbit planes, two coffin planes, and then a baby coffin, and then a six. Is that a seven? No, it's a seven, a six, a five, two fours, a three, and a seventy-one. Compass plane, a couple of fours in different states. My tool band that I made. A lot of measuring tools, marking tools, pencils, knives. How many of you guys got twelve of these? What are you going to do with a linoleum knife? Pencils, sharpies, French curves, scissors, micrometers, lathe parts, squares, um, jigsaws, sawzall, my framing iron, sanders, you got my skill saw, my Tormac is under the white doodad under there, my grinder, the red band is extension cords and as we move up the shelf in the corner has my work sharp, a little airbrush compressor, my welder, screw bands this is what I'm proud of the French cliques I've applied to the back wall uh, my T-handles, I've got my sharpening jig, my scrapers, I've got a place to put all my braces and my egg beaters, I have a complete set of Irwins. I think they go from a number 3 to a 16. Um, my screwdrivers, marking gauges, bevel gauges, squares, bits, up and top behind the bright light, uh, 
shaves, my spoke shaves, tape. That bend is files, rasps, and awls, marking knives of every shape, form, and fashion. This bend is chisels that are gouges, uh, butt chisels, just anything that's not just a bench chisel has gone in there. Got my marking gauges and my box of sanding materials. And I've got cherry and sycamore and oak. That's a lot of my wood. And my clamps. Anything? A lot of my storage of my, uh, that's, a, that's a stack of sycamore. Top few inches of it, probably about a half a foot, it's red oak. Um, sapel, just sticks that I've kept around. My torch. Supplies, epoxy, meters, grinders, toolbox. A little bit of baking soda up there in the corner. This is no joke. This is the first time I've put it back together. This is pine. Let me find that One time, get a fresh edge on it. And let's see what happens. Sometimes you compress the fibers, they won't grab. That drives me insane. Alright. Go for something else. Okay. Piece of red oak. First time I've ever seen it with this plane. It's a 
Pell. I had two Miller Falls number fours. And I wondered why this one was in worse shape than the other. And I found out why. The mouth has been brazed. So it's probably going to be a good parts giver for the other one up here. I had this Stanley. Brought it back around. There you go. All right, guys. This is a Swiss made gauge and it has five places. The decimal is after the second zero. So the, bo the bottom place is the thousandth mark. A thou. This is on the pine. This one's even thinner. As low as it goes is a thou. And a thou. And that's for the pine. Half a thou. There is another little baby place down here at the bottom. A thou. This is with the oak. Thou. Sapel. A little thicker. That's seven thou, seven and a half thou. Two and a half thou. I did have to take a little bit bigger chunk to try to grab some of this grain. Two and a half thou. Four thou. Yes, Randy, Electric Dave has digital devices.